Hi, so I'm just checking the mic down here to make sure that it's working okay. It seems to be, so hopefully we'll be all right. I've gone a bit too far though, for what I wanted to do. There, so I think I've just got um, potentially that one example left to do from the second lesson. So it's a short one. So it says, show that the line does not meet the circle. Right, so in terms of a plan, I want to substitute the line into the circle. And then I'm going to make a quadratic, because it'll all be in terms of x now. So I'm going to make a quadratic. And then, because I want to see if it doesn't meet, I know that b squared minus 4ac should be less than 0, if that's the case. Because we said, haven't we, that the discriminant can be used for seeing if stuff crosses as well. So I'm going to check the discriminant. Right then, so I'm going to put x minus 7 there. So I've got x plus 2 squared uh, plus x minus 7 squared is 33. So I've got x squared plus 4x plus 4 um, plus x squared minus 14x plus 49 is 33. Right, so that will give me 2x squared minus 10x. I've got plus 53, take 30, it's plus 20. So that's subbing it in, and it's making a quadratic equation. So the next bit is to check the discriminant. So b squared minus 4ac. So minus 10 squared minus 4 times 2 times 20. So b squared minus 4ac is going to be, well, what have we got? So it's 100 minus 160, isn't it? So it's uh, minus 60. So b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Therefore, they don't intersect. So that's easy enough, isn't it? I'm only on two and a half minutes there. So we're done for that one. See you later. Bye-bye.